We pray our glass and uh, Eucharistic revival prayer. O Jesus, truly present in the most holy Eucharist, I adore you, I praise you, I treasure you. I acknowledge that you are truly present, body, blood, soul, and divinity, under sacramental signs. When Father Randy elevates the host, it is you whom I adore. When I bow before the monstrance in adoration, it is you whom I adore. When I make visits to the tabernacle, it is you whom I adore. During these years of Eucharistic revival in our country, may Bishop Malloy, Father Andy, all priests of our diocese, my fellow parishioners, and the lay faithful of my diocese, receive a renewed and strengthened devotion to you in the most blessed sacrament. May I praise you more frequently, more seriously, and more faithfully each day as I encounter you personally in the Holy Eucharist. I pray that in this local church, of St. Patrick's in Maytown, the Eucharist will truly be the source and summit of our Catholic life. As I encounter you in the sacrament of your body and blood, may I be led to a greater charity and concern for my brothers and sisters in the human family, recognizing your face in each one of them. May we all possess a unity in faith, adoration, and mission. O oh, dear Jesus, may it be praised, worshiped, and adored and all the tabernacles of the world, now and to the end of time. Amen. We'll pray our Divine Mercy Chaplet as our sacramental. We'll pray this chaplet for all of our intentions of the Mass this morning. Pray for all who are sick, especially from our families, our church community. We'll pray this chaplet for all that are going to the Eucharistic Congress in Indianapolis on July 17th through 21st that they would come back on fire with the love of Jesus Christ and the Blessed Sacrament and infect each one of us with that love. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. 
Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins, and the sins of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and the sins of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and the sins of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, 
holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a font of mercy for us, we trust in you. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great king over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him. The dry land too, for it was formed by his hand. Come, let us bow down and worship bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massah they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Rise up, Lord, and come to my aid. Alleluia. I pray this psalm in glory for being the pastor of the parishioners of St. Patrick's Church in Maytown. O Lord, lead my cause against my foes. Fight those who fight me. Take up your buckler and shield. Arise to help me. O Lord, say to my soul, I am your salvation. But my soul shall be joyful in the Lord and rejoice in his salvation. My soul, whole being, will say, Lord, who is like you, who rescue the weak from the strong and the poor from the oppressor. Lying witnesses arise and accuse me unjustly. They repay me evil for good. My soul is forlorn. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Rise up, Lord, and come to my aid. Alleluia. O powerful Lord, stand by me and defend me. Alleluia. I pray this psalm in gratitude for being made the pastor of the parishioners of Our Lady Perpetual Church in Sublette. When they were sick, I went into mourning, afflicted with fasting. My prayer was ever on my lips, as for a brother, a friend. I went as though mourning a mother, bowed down with grief. Now that I am in trouble, they gather, they gather and mock me. They take me by surprise and strike me, and tear me to pieces. They provoke me with mockery and mockery and gnash their teeth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. All powerful Lord, you stand by me and defend me. Alleluia. My tongue will speak of your goodness all the day long. Alleluia. I pray this psalm in gratitude for being made the pastor of the Church of St. Mary the Assumption in West Brooklyn. O Lord, how long will you look on? Come to my rescue. Save my life from those raging beasts. My soul from those lions. I will thank you in the great assembly. Amid the throng, I will praise you. Do not let my lying foes rejoice over me. Do not let those who hate me unjustly wink eyes at each other. O Lord, you have seen. Do not be silent. Do not stand afar off. Awake, stir to my defense, to my cause, O God, and let there be joy for those who love my cause. Them say without end, Great is the Lord who delights in the peace of his servant. And then my tongue shall speak of your justice all day long of your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. My tongue will speak of your goodness all the day long. Christ Jesus, 
You have risen from the dead, alleluia. Let the heavens and the earth rejoice, alleluia. From a sermon by Blessed Isaac of Stella and Abbott. Just as the head and the body of a man form one single man, so the son of the virgin and those he has chosen to be his members form a single man and the one son of man. Christ is whole and entire, head and body, say the scriptures. Since all the members form one body, which was with its head, is one son of man. And he who with the Son of God is the one Son of God, who himself with God is one God. And therefore the whole body with its head is Son of Man, Son of God, and God. This is the explanation of the Lord's words. Father, I desire that as you and I are one, so they may be one with us. And so, according to this well-known reading of the scriptures, Neither the body without the head, nor the head without the body, nor the head and the body without God, make the whole Christ. When all are united with God, they become one God. The Son of God is one with God by nature. The Son of Man is one with him in his person. We, his body, are one with him sacramentally. Consequently, those who by faith are spiritual members of Christ can truly say, that they are what he is, the Son of God and God himself. But what God is by his nature, we are as his partners. What he is of himself in all fullness, we are as participants. And finally, what the Son of God is by generation, his members are by adoption. According to the text, as sons, you have received the spirit of adoption, enabling you to cry out, Abba, Father. Through his spirit, he gave men the power to become sons of God, so that all those who has chosen might be taught by the firstborn among many brothers to say, Our Father who art in heaven. Again, he says elsewhere, I ascend to my Father and to your Father. By the spirit from the womb of the virgin was born our head, the Son of Man. And by the same spirit in the waters of baptism, we are reborn as his body, and as sons of God. Just as he was born without any sin, so we are reborn in the forgiveness of all our sins. As on the cross he bore the sum total of the whole body's sins in his own physical body, so he gave his members the grace to re rebirth in order that no sin might be imputed to his mystical body. It is written, Blessed is the man to whom God imputes no guilt. The blessed man of this text is undoubtedly Christ, who forgives sins insofar as God is his head, insofar as this man is the head of the body. No sin is given him, but insofar as the body that belongs to his, this head consists of many members, sin is not imputed to it. And just as in himself, it is he who just justifies himself. He alone is both Savior and saved. In his body on the cross, he bore what was washed from his body by the waters of baptism. Bringing salvation through wood and through water, he is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, which he took upon himself. Himself a priest, he offers himself as sacrifice to God, and he is himself God. And thus, though his own self, the Son is reconciled to himself as God, as well as to the Father and to the Holy Spirit. We are all one body in Christ, and in one body we are all members of one another. In his body the fullness of divinity dwells, and in him you find your fulfillment. Alleluia. Christ is the head of the body, the church, and the firstborn from the dead, so that in every way the primacy may be his. In his body the fullness of divine divinity dwells, and in him you find your fulfillment. Alleluia. reading on the prescription of heretics by Tertullian, priest. Our Lord Jesus Christ himself declared what he was, what he had been, and how he was carrying out his Father's will, what obligations 
He demanded of men. This he did during his earthly life, either publicly in the crowds or privately to his disciples. Twelve of these he picked, picked out to be his special companions, appointed to teach the nations. One of them fell from his place. The remaining eleven were commanded by Christ as he was leaving the earth to return to the Father after his resurrection, to go and teach the nations and to baptize them into the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The apostles cast lots and added Matthias to their number in place of Judas as the twelfth apostle. The authority for this action is to be found in a prophetic psalm of David. After receiving the power of the Holy Spirit, which had been promised to them, so that they work, could work miracles and proclaim the truth, they first bore witness to their faith in Jesus Christ and established churches throughout the Judea. Then they went out into the whole world and proclaimed to the nations the same doctrinal faith. They set up churches in every city. Other churches received from them a living transplant of faith and the seed of doctrine. And through this daily process of transplanting, they became churches. They therefore qualify as apostolic churches by being the offspring of churches that are apostolic. Every family has to be traced back to its origins. And that is why we can say that all these great churches constitute that one original church of the apostles. For it is from them that they all came. They are all primitive, all apostolic, because they are all one. They bear witness to this unity by the peace in which they all live, the brotherhood which is their name, the fellowship to which they are pledged, the principle on which these associations are based is common tradition by which they share the same sacramental bond. The only way in which we can approve what the apostles taught, that is to say, what Christ revealed to them, is through those same churches. They were founded by the apostles themselves who first preached to them but what is called the living voice and later by means of letters. The Lord had said clearly in former times, I have many more things to tell you, but you cannot endure them now. But he went on to say, when the spirit of truth comes, he will lead you into holy truth. And thus Christ shows us that the apostles had full knowledge of the truth, for he has promised that they would receive the whole truth through the spirit of truth. His promise was certainly fulfilled since the Acts of the Apostles prove that the Holy Spirit came down on them. Some Greeks approached Philip with this request. Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Philip went to them to tell Andrew. And Andrew and Philip then went to inform Jesus. Alleluia. In the very first place where it was to said to them, You are not my people. They will be called sons of the living God. Philip went to tell Andrew. Andrew and Philip then went to inform Jesus. Alleluia. The Te Deum. Your God, we praise you. You are the Lord, we acclaim you. You are the Eternal Father. All creation worships you. To you, all angels, all powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim, sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praises you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the whole world, the Holy Church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all worship, and the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you became man to set us free, you did not spurn the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and hold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Keep us today, Lord, from all sin. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. And you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. I pray in gratitude for being made a priest of Jesus Christ.
I thank Bishop Dorn for ordaining me. I thank Bishop Malloy for giving me my first and only priestly assignment. The parishes of St. Patrick's Church Maytown, Our Lady Perpetual Church Sublette, St. Mary of the Assumption Church, West Brooklyn. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. In gratitude for my priestly vocation, I pray 15 Hail Marys, Texas Decade. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Jesus, I thank you for making me your priest. Thank you for this special vocation. I ask for the intercessory prayer of St. Peter, St. James, St. Augustine, and St. Jerome, that they would, through their prayers and intercession and the grace of your Son and the sacraments that I receive, I may be faithful to the vows of my religious life. I thank you for sending Monsignor Donovan, Monsignor Mahold, all my priestly formators into my life to help me discern the priesthood and accept this vocation from you. I thank all my family members, Sister Angelica Rayback, all of her sisters in Kansas. I thank my mom and dad, my brothers, my grandmother, my great-grandmother for their prayers to help me to accept the vocation of your priesthood. 
most of all, I thank my priest, the angel from the power choir, for always bringing the grace of the sacraments to earth, even when I was not in a state of grace to ask for them. Holy God, we praise thy name. Lord of all, we bow before thee. All on earth thy scepter claim. All in heaven above adore thee. Infinite thy vast domain. Everlasting is thy reign. Infinite thy vast domain. Everlasting is thy reign. Pray the morning prayer. We offer up this first psalm for all our mass intentions, especially from the Church of St. Patrick's Church in Maytown. We prayed the mass this morning for the repose of the soul of Sylvia Leffelman, for the living intention of Joe and Marcy Hebert, and all the parishioners living here at St. Patrick's. Lord, show us the Father, and we shall be satisfied. Alleluia. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. Wash me more and more from my guilt. Cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done. That you may be justified when you give sentence. Be without reproach when you judge. Oh, see, in guilt I was born. A sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart. Then in the secret of my heart, teach me wisdom. Oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. Oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make him hear rejoicing and gladness. That the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins, turn away your face and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God, and put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help, with the spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O oh, rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O oh, Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight. Burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humbled, contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness, show favor to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem, and then you'll be pleased with lawful sacrifice of costs offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, show us the Father, and we will be satisfied. Alleluia. Have I been with you all this time, and still you do not know me, Philip? Whoever sees me sees my Father also. Alleluia. Pray this second psalm with all the mass intentions of the people of Our Lady Perpetual Church in Sublette. Truly with you, God is hidden. The God of Israel, the Savior. Those are put to shame and disgrace who vent their anger against him. Those go in disgrace who carve out images. Israel, you are saved by the Lord, saved forever. You shall never be put to shame or disgrace in future ages. For thus says the Lord, the creator of the heavens, who is God, the designer and maker of the earth, who established it, not creating it to be a waste, but designing it to be lived in. I am the Lord and there is no other. I have not spoken from hiding, not from some dark place of the earth, and I have not said to the descendants of Jacob, look for me in an empty waste. I, the Lord, promise justice. I foretell what is right. Come and assemble, gather together, you fugitives among the Gentiles. 
They are without knowledge who bear wooden idols and pray to gods that cannot save. Come here and declare and counsel together who announced this from the beginning and foretold it from of old. Was it not I, the Lord, besides whom there is no other God? There is no just and saving God but me. Turn to me and be safe, all you ends of the earth, for I am God, there is no other. By myself I swear, uttering my just decree and my unalterable word, to me every knee shall bend, by me every tongue shall swear, saying only in the Lord are just deeds and power. Before him in shame shall come all who vent their anger against him, and the Lord shall be the vindication and the glory of all the descendants of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Have I been with you all this time, and still you do not know me, Philip? Whoever sees me sees my Father also. Hallelujah. Pray this home for all of Mass intentions of the parishioners of St. Mary the Assumption Church, West Brooklyn. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. Trust in God and trust also in me. There are many rooms in my Father's house. Alleluia. Cry out with joy to the Lord all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him, singing for joy. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Go within his gates, giving praise and thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise, giving thanks to him and bless his name. Indeed, how good is the Lord. Eternal is merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. Trust in God, and trust also in me. There are many rooms in my Father's house. Hallelujah. You are strangers and aliens no longer. No, you are fellow citizens of the saints and members of the household of God. You form a building which rises on the foundation of the apostles and prophets with Christ Jesus himself as the capstone. Through him, the whole structure is fitted together and takes shape as a body, a holy temple in the Lord. In him, you take shape as a holy temple in the Lord. In him, you are being built into this temple to become a dwelling place for God in the spirit. You have made them rulers over all the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. You have made them rulers over all the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. They will always remember your name. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You have made them rulers over all the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. The Canticle of Zechariah. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, we have found the, the man Moses wrote in, of in the law, the one of whom the prophet spoke. He is Jesus, son of Joseph from Nazareth. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He's raised up for us a mighty savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers. Remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, to free, to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. The tender compassion of our God, the dawn from my eyes shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, Guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, We have found the man Moses wrote of in the law, the one of whom the prophet spoke. He is Jesus, son of Joseph from Nazareth. Alleluia. Intercessions. Beloved friends, we have inherited heaven along with the apostles, let us give thanks to the Father for all his gifts. The company of apostles praises you, O Lord. Praise be to you, Lord, for the banquet of Christ's body and blood given us through the apostles, which refreshes us and gives us life. Praise be to you, Lord, for the feast of your word prepared for us by the apostles, giving us light and joy. Praise be to you, Lord, 
for your holy church founded on the apostles where we are gathered together into your community. Praise be to you, Lord, for the cleansing power of baptism and penance that you have entrusted to your apostles through which we are cleansed of our sins. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God, our Father, every year you give us the joy of the festival of the apostles Philip and James. By the help of your prayers, may, by their prayers, may we share in the suffering, death, and resurrection of your only begotten Son and come to the eternal vision of your glory. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Pray now in gratitude for the gift of having made my mom and dad saints in heaven. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Angel, help me to pray all my prayers with fervency and devotion, especially the prayers of the Holy Mass but also the prayers of this holy hour, these prayers and gratitude that you have made my mom and dad saints through the many plenary indulgences that myself and my, all my parishioners have worked for my beloved parents. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive me my sins, save me from the fires of hell. Lead my soul to heaven, that I praise you with my mom and dad for all eternity. O oh, my God, I'm heartily sorry for having offended thee. I detest all my sins, because I dread the loss of heaven and the pains of hell. But most of all, because they offend thee, my God, who are all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve, with the help of your grace, to confess my sins, to do penance, and to amend my life. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. May my mom and dad's soul and all the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Pray the fourth glorious mystery, the assumption of Mary into heaven, thanking our Lord for assuming my mom's soul into heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive me my sins. Save me from the fires of hell. Lead my soul to heaven so I can praise you with my mom for all eternity. The fifth glorious mystery, the assumption, the uh, coronation of Our Lady. I thank you for giving my papa a crown in heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive me my sins. Save me from the fires of hell. Lead my soul to heaven, especially so I can praise you with my Papa for all eternity. St. Peter, St. Joseph, St. Lucy, thank you for helping me to pray and express my gratitude that my mom and dad have entered into heaven as saints. St. James, thank you for praying, helping me to pray and express my gratitude that my dad has entered into your kingdom. St. Jerome, thank you for praying that our namesake, my mom, has entered into the glory of heaven. St. Francis Xavier, St. Thomas Aquinas, St. Wenceslaus, thank you for praying and expressing my gratitude with me that my mom and dad have entered into heaven. St. Augustine and St. Christopher, thank you for praying with me, express my gratitude that my mom has become a saint. St. Rita, St. John Newman, St. Bernadette Subaru, Thank you for expressing my gratitude with me that my dad has become a saint. St. Louis, St. Henry, St. Aloysius Gonzaga, St. Robert Bellarmine, St. John Berkmans. Thank you for having me express my gratitude that my mom and dad have entered into heaven as saints. St. John Nipomutsi, St. John Paul the Great, St. Mother Teresa, St. Charles Borromeo, and St. John the Baptist. Thank you for expressing, helping me to express my gratitude that my mom and dad have become saints. St. Catherine of Siena, thank you for praying with me, expressing my gratitude that my mom has become a saint. Mama and Papa, pray for me. Pray for my uh, priestly mother, Maria Pura, the decade of the rosary of the descent of the Holy Spirit. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive me my sins, save me from the fires of hell, lead my soul to heaven, so I can praise you with all the good priests of heaven, with your servant Maria Pura. O God, beyond all praising, we worship you today and sing the love amazing that songs cannot repay. For we can only wonder at every gift you send. At blessings without number and mercies without end, we lift our hearts before you and wait upon your word. We honor and adore you, our great and mighty Lord. For we can only wonder and marvel at your name that we who know your favor may praise you as our king and whether our tomorrows be filled with good or ill we'll triumph through our sorrows and rise to bless you still to marvel at your beauty and glory in your way and make a joyful duty our sacrifice of praise Pray this daytime prayer for all who are sick. This first psalm, Psalm 119, I pray it for the sick of St. Patrick's Church in Maytown, especially for Indian Bicket, Mariah Quest, all who are homebound, all who suffer in the hospital. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. My soul lies in the dust. By your word, revive me. 
I declare my ways, and you answered, teach me your statutes. Make me grasp the way of your precepts, and I will muse on your wonders. My soul pines away with grief, by your word raise me up. Keep me from the way of error, and teach me your law. I have chosen the way of truth, with your degrees before me. I bind myself to do your will. Lord, do not disappoint me. I will run the way of your commands. You give freedom to my heart. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I pray the second psalm, Psalm 26, for all the sick and the suffering of Our Lady Perpetual Church Beth Sublette, especially Larry Leffelman, Pauline Bolfer, Mary Jo Zimmerlin, all who are sick in the hospital, all those who are homebound. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Give judgment for me, O Lord, for I walk the path of perfection. I trust in the Lord, I have not wavered. Examine me, Lord, and try me. O test my heart and my mind, for your love is before my eyes, and I walk according to your truth. I never take my place with liars, and with hypocrites I shall not go. I hate the evildoer's company. I will not take my place with the wicked. To prove my innocence, I wash my hands. I take my place around your altar, singing a song of thanksgiving, proclaiming all your wonders. O oh Lord, I love the house where you dwell, the place where your glory abides. Do not sweep me away from the, with sinners, nor my life with bloodthirsty men, in whose hands are evil plots, whose right hands are filled with gold. As for me, I walk the path of perfection. Redeem me and show me your mercy. My foot stands on level ground. I will bless the Lord in the assembly. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. This last psalm for daytime prayer, Psalm 28, I pray for those who are sick from the Church of West Brooklyn, especially Charlotte Bresson, John Jahan, all who are homebound, those sick in the hospital. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. To you, O Lord, I call, my rock, hear me. If you do not heed, I shall become like those in the grave. Hear the voice of my pleading as I call for help, as I lift up my hands in prayer to your holy place. Do not drag me away with the wicked, with the evildoers who speak words of peace to their neighbors, but with evil in their hearts. Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard my cry, my appeal. The Lord is my strength and my shield. In him my heart trusts. I was helped, my heart rejoices, and I praise him with my song. The Lord is the strength of his people, a fortress where his anointed finds salvation. Save your people, bless Israel, your heritage, be their shepherd and carry them forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Pray this evening prayer of the church for all of the sins of my parishioners. Pray this first psalm for the remission of the sins of my parishioners of St. Patrick this day. Pray this second psalm for the remission of the sins of my parishioners of Our Lady Perpetual Help this day. Pray the third psalm in reparation for the sins of the people of St. Mary the Assumption this day. When in his own image God created man, he created freedom in creation's plan. For he loved us even from before our birth. By his grace he made us free men of this earth. God to man entrusted life as gift and aim. Sin became our prison, turning hope to shame. Man against his brother, lifted hand and sword. 
and the father's pleading went unseen, unheard. Then in time our maker chose to intervene, set his love in person in the human scene. Jesus broke the circle of repeated sin so that man's devotion newly might begin. Choose we now in freedom where we should belong. Let us turn to Jesus, let our choice be strong. May the great obedience which in Christ we see perfect all our service, then we shall be free. Philip, whoever's seen me sees my father also. Alleluia. Happy the man who considers the poor and the weak. The Lord will save him in the day of evil, will guard him, give him life, make him happy in the land. He will not give him up to the will of his foes, the Lord will help him on the bed of his pain. He will turn him back from sickness to health. As for me, I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. My foes are speaking evil against me. How long before he dies and his name be forgotten? They come to visit me and speak empty words. Their hearts full of malice, they spread it abroad. My enemies whisper together against me. They all weigh up the evil which is on me. Some deadly thing is fastened upon him. He will not rise again from where he lies. And thus even my friends whom I trusted, who ate my bread, is turned against me. But you, O Lord, have mercy on me. Let me rise once more and I will repay them. By this I shall know that you are my friend. If my foes do not shout in triumph over me, if you uphold me, I shall be unharmed and set in your presence forevermore. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. From age to age, amen, amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Philip, whoever has seen me sees my Father also. Alleluia. If you had known me, you would have known my Father also. Now you know both him and see him. Alleluia. God is my helper, a refuge and strength, a helper close at hand in time of distress. So we shall not fear though the earth should rock, though the mountains fall into the depths of the sea, even though its waters rage and foam, even though the mountains be shaken by its waves. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. The waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within and cannot be shaken. God will help it at the dawning of the day. Nations are in tumult. Kingdoms are shaken. He lifts his voice, the earth shrinks away. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Come, consider the works of the Lord, the redoubtable deeds he has done on the earth. He puts an end to wars over all the earth. The bow he breaks, the spear he snaps, he burns the shields with fire. But be still and know that I am God, supreme among the nations, supreme on the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. If you had known me, you would have known my Father also. Now you know both. Know him and see him. Alleluia. If you love me, says the Lord, keep my commandments. Alleluia. Mighty and wonderful are your works, Lord God Almighty. Righteous and true are your ways, O King of the nations. Who would dare refuse you honor, or the glory do your name, O Lord? Since you alone are holy, all nations will come and praise and worship in your presence. Your mighty deeds are clearly seen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. If you love me, says the Lord, keep my commandments. Alleluia. Christ gave apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers in roles of service for the faithful to build up the body of Christ. Help us become one in faith and in the knowledge of God's Son. 
and form the perfect man who is Christ come to full stature. Responsory. Tell all the nations how glorious God is. Alleluia, alleluia. Tell all the nations how glorious God is. Alleluia, alleluia. Make known his wonders to every people. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Tell all the nations how glorious God is. Alleluia, alleluia. The Canticle of Mary. If you live in me and my words live in you, all you ask for will be yours. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. If you live in me and my words live in you, all you ask for will be yours. Alleluia. The intercessors. My brothers, we build on the foundation of the apostles. Let us pray to our Father, Almighty Father, for his holy people and say, Be mindful of your church, O Lord. Father, you wanted your son to be first born of the apostles after the resurrection from the dead. We ask you to make us his witnesses to the farthest corners of the world. You sent your son to preach the good news to the poor. Help us to preach this gospel to every creature. You sent your sons to sow the seed of unending life. Grant that we who worked in sowing the seed may share in the joy of the harvest. You sent your son to reconcile all men to you through his blood. Help us all to work toward achieving this reconciliation. Your son sits at your right hand in heaven. Let the dead enter into your glory of joy, especially Geraldine Fronick, James Fronick, Maria Pura. Turn rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. May Mama's soul, Papa's soul, and Maria Pura's soul, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. So we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God, our Father, every year you give us the joy on the festival of the apostles Philip and James. By the help of their praise, prayers, may we share in the, unsuffering, the suffering death and resurrection of your only Son and come to the eternal vision of your glory. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Holy God, we praise thy name. Lord of all, we bow before thee. All on earth thy scepter claim. All in heaven above adore thee. Infinite thy vast domain everlasting is thy reign infinite thy vast domain everlasting is thy reign tantum ergo sacrum entum Venere morcernui Preta
Genitori, genitoque, thou said you be Lazio. Salus honor, virtus coque, seed et benedictio. Procedenti abutroque, comparsi laudatio. You have given them bread from heaven, having all sweetness within it. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom. We live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Oh, Jesus, we're about to give your blessing to all assembled here to receive it. How we beg thee and may impart to each one of our souls the special graces we need to live our vocations for the glory of your name. But more than this, I ask, let your blessing go far and wide. Let it influence all the parishioners of St. Patrick's Church, Maytown, Our Lady of Perpetual Help Church, Sublette, St. Mary the Assumption Church, West Brooklyn, all of our work or other obligations couldn't come hither to receive this blessing. May they still feel its power in their soul. May all who have been prayed for during this holy hour feel its blessing as it comes upon them. As for a blessing on all the sick and suffering, especially the sick of Maytown, West Brooklyn, and Sublette, those in the hospital at St. Paul's Hospital in, in Mendota. As for a blessing on all the sinners who have failed to celebrate their Easter duty this year, May they make a good confession and come back to help us to praise you from this very altar, Lord. As for a blessing on the daughters of divine love as they labor for souls so dear to your sacred heart, so far from their homeland in, in Africa, in Nigeria. As for a blessing on all of us as we enter this year of Eucharistic revival in our country, a special blessing on the eight persons from our parishes that will visit you at the great Eucharistic Congress in Indianapolis in July. As for a blessing on the Holy Father and on our bishop, may it affect in them the south story purse for which you send, O Lord. Last of all, I ask for a blessing on myself, your unworthy servant. We pray the divine praises together. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be your holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be your glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse. And blessed be God and his angels and then his saints. We prayed the prayers for a plenary indulgence, having spent it over a half hour, a holy half hour, adoring our Lord in the Eucharist. We can win for our beloved dead in purgatory, a spot in the glorious kingdom. So we we'll make sure that we make a reconciliation within 21 days of this holy hour. We'll make sure that we receive the Eucharist for the person that we work the indulgence for in a state of grace. And then we'll pray the creed together and we'll pray the three prayers for the Holy Father for releasing the treasury of the church, all so that a plenary indulgence could be worked by this holy hour. We pray the creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. 
I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the Holy Spirit was incarnate the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Prayers thanking the Holy Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. St. James, I ask you to help me present these prayers of this plenary indulgence before our Lord Jesus Christ, so that my dad, James Fronick, can become a saint in heaven, working this plenary indulgence for him. I hope you enjoy heaven, Dad. Hark the loud celestial hymn, angel. 